This is an old pattern, the butcher, and this is the bloody butcher. Now the tail on this is uh, just a, a segment of um, dyed goose or swan. There's a two butcher in this series, aren't there, John? The Kingfisher Butcher and the Bloody Butcher. Well, the Kingfisher Butcher is, in fact, a different. Uh, it's a different fly uh, from the Silver Butcher and uh, the Bloody Butcher. Uh, the Kingfisher Butcher is a fly. It was a popular fly in Loch Leven. flat silver. Just make sure everything lies along the top of the hook. Just keep pushing it down. It's got to be a fairly smooth body when, when there's a, when it's made of flat silver. Carefully side by side down towards the eye. Leaving plenty of room for the, the hackle on the wing. And four or five turns of oval silver tinsel. Depending on the size of the hook. Usual tens of twelves these are dressed in basically John usually. That's the common size, although on mm. on on lock on lock flies for brown trout you could go up to an eight. And this is the bloody butcher, it says it's got a red hackle. Depends the reason why it's called the bloody butcher, yeah. all the red that's on it. Uh, it's a silver butcher, or the ordinary butcher is a black hackle. Yeah, that's correct, yeah. turns you put on a wet fly depends on how bushy you want it, how heavily dressed. If you want it lightly dressed you'd stop there. Uh huh. So you just usually about four turns or three turns. Three then, turns, uh, yeah. You notice there's plenty of room for the wing to go on. It's better to have too much room than too little. and a bed of thread down to the eye then back again for the wing to sit on. Now the wing can be the, the blue-black feather from a, a teal duck, but this is a grey duck feather, grey mallard duck dyed black, and it's very easy to work with. Normally, so we cut section from the right. One from the left. I've heard of some people using crow for this as well, John. You can use crow. Any black feather does. You match them up to all the same. hackle in the middle. You put them on like this. So the wings tend to split over the hackle yep. then? This acts as a base. For the wing, uh-huh. The first tie is the important one really, isn't it? The first yep, tie I'll just give it a couple of turns or one turn 
and just see what happens. It looks really good. Then give it two or three more, then you can level up if it's Thank you. 